Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this overhanging beam. So, there is an overhanging beam with two supports and there is a uniformly distributed load of 3 kN per meter is acting on this beam. So, the length of the beam are given to us. Here we see the simply supported part is 4 meter and also the overhanging part is 4 meter. So the two supports are A and A and B and first of all we have to find out the support reactions and then we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this kind of beam. Now how to go with this problem? So we will use equilibrium equation in order to first find out the support reactions. So let's consider the summation of moment at any point equal to zero and let's in this case summation of moment at point B equal to zero. So at this point, summation of moment equal to zero. So and let's suppose the clockwise moment is positive and the anti-clockwise moment is negative. Now, so these are the support reactions. So it will R A, which is unknown to us, and here is let's suppose R B, which is also unknown to us. So now the summation of moment around point point B. How to find out this? So first force that creates a moment about point B is Ra. So moment is always equal to the force into momentum. Now force is Ra that will create the moment about point B. So Ra multiplying it with the momentum. The momentum is the distance, this R momentum is the distance from the load point to the point where you want to find out the moment. So it is distance from this point A point to B which is 4 meter. And this load creates a moment, this reaction creates a moment in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive. Now this load, 3 kN per meter, is acting in the downward direction. So first we have to transfer this load into pointed load. So how to do? So it is acting here, the center, this load, if we change this to a pointed load, so this will act at the center, like this, a big load. And then it will create the moment about point B in the anti-clockwise direction, so it will be negative. So minus, and how to change this load, this whole uniformly distributed load into pointed load. So we have to 3 kN per meter, we have to multiply it with the total length on which it is distributed, so it is distributed over 4 meter, so multiplying it with the 4. So we have to multiply it with the 4, multiplying it with the momentum. Now this is the force. And this is the force. And now what is momentum? Momentum is the distance between this point to B point. Now this force which we find out will act always act in the center because it is a centroid axis. So it is 4 divided by 2. So we will got 2 meters. So that's why we put it here too. So summation of all the moment about point B equal to 0. There is no other force that creates a moment about point B. So now shifting this value into the right side. So 4RA is equal to the, if we shift this value to the right side and if we multiply, we got here 24 and if we divide this by 4, 24 divided by 4, we got 6 kN. So it means RA is equal to 6 kN. This is the support reaction here at this point, 6 kN. Now to find out RB, we can use the simple, this equation that vertical force is equal to 0, summation of vertical force is equal to 0. Now the upward forces are positive and the downward forces are negative. The upward forces are Ra and Rb. So these are upward, Ra plus Rb. These are upwards, so they are positive. And the downward force is this force which is 3 kN per meter. So minus 3 into 4 because it is distributed over the 4 meter length. So all the summation of force is equal to 0. So just we will put the value of Ra here which is known to us 6 kN and we will find out the Rb. So how? So Rb comes out to be, if we shift this value into the right side, so it becomes 12 minus Ra. So Rb comes out to be 12 minus Ra is 6. So Rb comes out to be 6 kN. So it means the load is equally distributed into this support reaction. This is also 6 kN. So now to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram for this beam. So these support reactions here is 6 kN and this is also 6 kN. So we have to just make the reference lines 
for the important points here like this way and also here like this way so this will be the for shear force and this will be the for bending moment this is a shear force represented in the kilonewton and this is for bending moment in the unit of kilonewton meter so now to draw the shear force diagram we will change the color so to easy to understand now 6 kilonewton is acting in the upper direction we will start from this reference it is 0 0 reference line for the shear force so 6 kilonewton is acting in the upper direction so it will move in the 6 units so 6 kilonewton and then there is a uniformly distributed load of 3 kilonewton per meter distributed over the 4 meter length so how to do this so 3 into 4 is the total load it is 12 but this force is now acting in downward direction this 6 kilonewton was acting in upward direction so we bring this up but now this load is acting in upward direction upward direction sorry in downward direction so 6 was acting in upward direction so it was positive minus 12 because it is acting downward direction so we get minus 6 so we will bring the shear force diagram for this beam like this to minus 6 so this is the shear force diagram for this and then again this is a 6 kilonewton upward direction acting in upward direction so it will also bring it to up so it is minus 6 was before now it is acting in upward direction so it will become 0 so this will close at this point so this is the shear force diagram for this beam and again there is 0 load acting on this so it will be 0 a straight line on the reference line so this is the shear force diagram now to find out the bending moment diagram we will simply uh, find out the area of the shear force and it will be the bending moment diagram how for example this is 4 meter so the shear force is divided into two parts here this is 2 meter here and 2 meter here this is because there is a uniformly distributed load remember this and keep this in mind if there is a different trapezoidal or triangular load then you will not get this 2 meter in 2 meter but you have to find out this in triad. but here there is a rectangular load that's why we divide this 4 into 2 parts so half load is here and half is here so now finding out the area of this triangle and finding area of this triangle so we will get our bending moment this is A1 this is A2 now we can change here the color to black so the area of this triangle in the area of this triangle and then we will have bending moment now the area of a one of this triangle is half base into height so it is half base is two meter into height is six so area of the first comes out to be um, so here we got here so it comes out to be six kilonewton meter is in bending moment so how to draw it we will draw just a reference line here at this point so it will start from here to here 6 kilonewton meter is the value here at this point peak and then again it is in downward direction the shear force a2 so the area of this is also half base into height because it's a triangle so half base is again 2 meter in height is again this is minus 6 so 2 into minus 6 here we got 2 to cancel minus 6 kilonewton meter is the moment value here so this was plus 6 and now it is minus 6 so it will bring this moment into zero value so this is now the bending moment diagram for this beam here again this will be zero because there is no shear force acting on this uh, part of the beam and there is no load so that's why there is zero bending moment so hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.